Hello everyone, my name is John Dole, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, you guys saw in the last video that, you know, I took some heat for that, saying that the, the typhoon would not make the problem worse up at uh, Fukushima nuclear power plant. I said that, and I still stand by that, but we must look at something that recently happened. TEPCO announced that Due to the typhoon, they had no choice but to release, and here's the exact number, guys, 1,130 tons of radioactive water into the Pacific Ocean. Now, here's quotes from TEPCO themselves regarding this latest incident. Workers measured the radioactive levels of the water collected in the enclosure walls, pumping some of it back into the tanks when they found levels were really high, said TEPCO official. Now, they made the decision to release the water once they found it. It was mostly rainwater, and they released it from the enclosure because they say there's a limit to how much water they can store. Now, that's true. Now, let's go on and look at a few more things about this before we really get into this and break this down. Utility said that the water they released was below 30 BQ of strontium as the current safety level set by the Japanese government they, you know, so is that. Now the company also admitted that they they found at one site where water had been collected it was beyond the safety limit and workers could not start the pump quick enough due to the typhoon and they said that a lot of water leaked out during that time. Now let's break this down a bit, okay? Now again, if you kept up with that typhoon and you know anything about Japan, again, like I said previously, we get typhoons all the time. Alright? Many typhoons have already hit Fukushima MPP following the meltdowns. Alright? So by TEPCO releasing all this water, this is a convenient excuse they used that typhoon as an excuse to dump this water. There's no doubt in my mind about that. The reason why is because TEPCO has been in a pretty tough battle with the fishermen cooperative and the fishermen collectives in around Fukushima regarding the release of water, or contaminated water. And they've been wanting to release water into the Pacific Ocean in mass levels for quite some time now, officially. Instead of just going ahead and doing it anyways. Now, the interesting part of that is that the leaders of the cooperative and the collective have voted for it. They so said, let TEPCO do it. But do the, the rules, they have to offer it to a member vote. And when they do that, the fishermen overwhelmingly reject the idea. And this has been an ongoing thing between the two, right? So, while that's going on, here rolls in a typhoon that's slightly stronger than what we normally get. And they're saying typhoon was bad, couldn't help it. Rainwater, eh? Really over a thousand tons of rainwater collects up that, that quick. That was a rather fast moving typhoon. Don't believe it was a thousand tons collected. I'm not buying that. Considering the backstory that I just explained. Now on top of this, it's still not making it worse. Now let me explain here. Now, as a lot of you should know by now, 300 tons of contaminated water have been flowing right into the Pacific basically from day one. That's something TEPCO has admitted. So you look at it, 300 tons a day of groundwater that's going under the plant getting contaminated flowing out, and you look at a thousand tons. That would be slightly over three days worth. So it's a drop in a bucket compared to what's previously been released into the Pacific Ocean, what's made it out there. 
So I look at it as this. The typhoon was overhyped. Extremely overhyped. It made a lot of news because everyone was screaming about it, especially in the West. Of course, the leadership at TEPCO took full notice of that. Full notice of that overhyping from the media. And they're just applying game theory. All right? They know the position they're in. And they see anti-nuclear movement's reaction. They see the mainstream media's reaction as typhoon. So they're predicting that you're overhyping it. So it provides cover for them to dump a bunch of water. All right? So be careful in the future about how much things are hyped. Now, the one good thing about this is that this release of a thousand tons got noticed by the mainstream media, especially in international press, and they ran with it. That's good. That's the one good point I can say. It keeps it in the news. It keeps people looking at it and keep people pushing for something to be done to, be, to this whole disastrous situation at Fukushima to be taken more seriously. But pressure on the Tokyo government. Now, does that mean that they're really going to do more? Well, so far we've seen how the reaction has been. It's throw money at it, cover it up. It does not mean we should not keep pushing forward here. All right? So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you pay close attention to what I'm saying because I don't want to be misunderstood anymore. And if you the first time you see me, hey, subscribe. You'll get lots of videos like this, um, lots of good news reports, breaking down things. You get protest vids. There's a slew of those you can check out on the main channel. And leave some comments, comment box below, because you guys know I love discussing things with you, right? And of course there'll be some links in the description box. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, in Tokyo, checking out.